Well, here I'm going to show you how I paint a pumpkin. Um, this one's going to be white because my pumpkins are white. And the background is an undercoat of Americana Decor Chalky Finish Paint in Cameo. And then there's a top coat over a crackle finish of Heritage, I think it's called. And the orange, and you, I don't know if you can see the crackling in it, but first I'm going to fill in just with white. I've chalked in the pumpkin shape. I don't have it like straight on or circular. It's just kind of a, a lumpy, bumpy mess. And I'm using um, just a white bottled acrylic. Um, out. I could have used the Americana Decor um, white, which I think is called Everlasting, but um, I've run out. So I'm using Snow White Titanium to do the undercoat, and I'll just fill it all in, which you probably don't want to watch all of it because it's pretty boring, but so you just fill it in. I try to follow the shape of the pumpkin. The bottom, I'm going to kind of go up like this. Just fill it all in. I lay it on thick. I'm not real concerned about it being too even. Just fill it in as best as you can. And I'll probably come in and do another coat before I do the ribs of the pumpkin. We'll let that dry. I'm just going to fill in some more. It's pretty much dry. Also, it's activating the crackle finish a little bit, but that's okay. It'll give it a great texture. I'm still kind of following the shape of the pumpkin with my strokes. I've added a little burnt umber to my palette. I didn't clean my brush, but I did add a little burnt umber to one corner. I don't know if you can see that on there or not, but I'm going to do the, some of the ribbing with the white and the burnt umber so you get A little bit of a feel for the rib. And if you think they're too dark, you can go back over them with some more white. I'll kind of drag in the where I think the stem would be. You can make this pretty thick. Still have the white on here, so it adds a little bit of highlighting to it. We can darken that after a bit. And we can kind of make this up here a little bit. And if that, that's too dark in any place, um, just wipe out the burnt umber out of your brush. I'm looking for a rag. And let's wipe that off. I reload with all white. And then I just kind of go over it a little bit with all white. And shout, uh, blends it in there. I shouldn't say shout, but blends it in there. A little bit more. Not a little bit too much blending, but you can always. If you want a tiny bit burnt umber around an edge, give it some definition. Not a lot, just a little. You want a little dimple where 
stem comes in. And just work with it a little bit. I'm going to get this a little too dark down here. Blend it in a little bit. It's okay if it's a little shadowy because that's where the pumpkin sits. And if you want to add, let me see, this edge right here is a little flaky. If you want to add shadowing underneath, I'm just going to wipe my brush out. And I'm going to get just a little bit of burnt umber in it. Kind of work it down where it's not too thick on the brush. And then just come underneath here and kind of work in a little bit of a shadow. Hopefully you can see that. Darken it a little there. And if you want a little bit more of a shadow on, one side of the stem, make, make it darker on that edge. And then if you want the other to be the top, a little bit more highlight, you can just kind of dab here and there with a bit of white. And there you have it. And you can also do the stem in green if you prefer, or and also you can maybe add some shadowing around here. I guess I can show you that. I'll reload my brush and I'll be back. Okay, I have loaded my brush with a blending gel or blending medium, which is a, just a clear gel-like substance, and um, worked one corner into the brown umber, or burnt umber, until it's worked in it good, and then I just kind of add the shadow around here. I don't worry too much if I go over the pumpkin a little bit. I can leave that, or I can Um, wipe it off, but the clear gel will dry clear, and then you're left with the shadowing around the pumpkin. There, sometimes it's wider at the bottom, and we will let that dry, and I think that's pretty much it. I guess I could add some fall leaves or something, but I'm not sure I want to do that. Okay, there you have it, a pumpkin.